you know, we're so concerned about having this high LDL and high cholesterol, but we rarely look on the flip side. And what are the dangers of having low LDL or low cholesterol? I think you're going to be very surprised to find out that there's just as many, if not more problems with low LDL and low cholesterol than there are with high LDL or high cholesterol. I want to give you a couple things that are facts. Number one, your body makes the great majority of all the cholesterol. 25% of your brain is cholesterol. In fact, your brain cells make cholesterol. Cholesterol is needed to make vitamin D. Cholesterol is needed to make bile salts to help you digest fats and absorb vitamin A, D, E, and K, and omega-3 fatty acids. Cholesterol is intimately involved in making your cell membranes. So when your cholesterol goes too low, okay, and your LDL goes too low, there are all sorts of bad things that can happen. Now, when I'm talking about cholesterol, I'm talking about cholesterol that is less than 120 milligrams per deciliter, 3.1 millimoles per liter. And when we're talking about LDL, I'm talking about values less than 50 milligrams per deciliter or 1.3 millimoles per liter. When your LDL or total cholesterol goes below those numbers, you are at risk for Quite a few things. Number one, cataracts, which is pretty wild. Number two, fatty liver disease. Yeah, you would think that fatty liver actually would be caused by consuming too much cholesterol. No, it's actually not true. Now, the next problem is you're not going to make enough bile, okay? Because bile is made from cholesterol, and there's a whole bunch of problems that are connected to that. A fatty stool. So your stool will flow, indicating you're not breaking down fats. So you're more than likely to develop a vitamin A deficiency, a vitamin D deficiency, a vitamin E deficiency, vitamin K1, vitamin K2 deficiency, as well as an omega-3 fatty acid deficiency, which can all give you massive problems down the road. And another symptom would be constipation. Why? Because bile salts help to lubricate the gastrointestinal tract. Another big side effect of not having enough LDL or cholesterol is something called intellectual disability okay? Your overall intelligence goes down. You also have mood disorders like anxiety and depression. Your risk for cancer goes up. Your immune system suffers. Now, that could be potentially because you're not making enough vitamin D. You may even develop something called hyperthyroidism, where your thyroid is working too fast. So anytime this topic of cholesterol comes up, you need to look at both sides. And in this next video, I think you'll be quite surprised to find out there's not a lot of problems associated with high cholesterol, mainly on the low side. And I put that video up right here. Check it out.